let's factor this expression. So anytime you have an expression with more than three terms, you always want to first consider grouping. Let's group these three terms together and these two terms together. Okay, now let's factor this in the same way we would factor a standard quadratic trinomial with leading coefficient not equal to 1. So 1 times minus 3 is minus 3, and 3 minus 1 is positive 2. So let's rewrite this as... Okay, now let's apply grouping here. We'll group the 3xy and the minus 3y squared, and the, and the x squared and the minus xy. Okay, now let's factor out an x here. Let's factor out a 3y here. Now let's factor out an x minus y from this expression. And there we go. That's fully factored.